Okay, Summer, first question is from... Ooh. I What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Good morning. Abigail, we're leaving, okay? You got Becca with you? Hey. Say bye. Bye. My face. Sweet girl. <laughs> what is going on there with that face? Can you say bye? Thank you, I love you. Bye Becca. Bye. So like I told you guys in the last vlog, we're gonna be doing a Q&A with Summer. We're returning the totes to Lowe's. The mistaken totes. The ones without lids. You guys asked, asked, uh, you asked at them. You asked your questions on Instagram. Summer, are you ready? I'm so ready. Are you ready for the for the hot topics, for oh, the big yeah. questions, for the zingers? Can't wait. Okay, here we go. So we're headed into a movie first today, right? Is that first? Yeah. First, we're going to the movies. Going to a matinee. We're gonna go see the J Lo movie. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Second act. Second act. The kids ran in to get candy from the Dollar Tree to take in the movies because Priscilla's a lawbreaker. <laughs> Stop! She's a lawbreaker. This is like the one thing that she does that's like against the law. I'm sure there's a law. I'm I sure it's a law. a law. I'm pretty sure there's a law. Let me know, are you a candy lawbreaker like Priscilla? <laughs> it does not make sense to drive 50 feet to pay $4 for a box of candy when you can get the same candy for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It's not movie theater candy. It's not approved candy. It is approved. It's really old. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's not old. It says on the box, made only for the Dollar Tree. I it wouldn't trust not. it. Lawbreaker. Okay, Summer, first question is from uh, Shelly and Boy Boys. Ex Shelly and Boy Zix. Something. Uh, what's been the hardest thing to adjust to about living in New York? The hardest thing about New York is being away from my people. New York itself isn't that hard to live in because I have a, such a schedule with volleyball and school that it's not as crazy as it seems. But missing my people is the hardest thing. Are we your people? You're my people. Huh? Lexi lights it up, wants to know how well do you know Abby's personal signs, her sign language. I know them all. Every one of them. Yep. Do you know what you're doing? Yep. Okay. Life hack. <laughs> Hashtag life hacks. Five dollars to stay healthy with your water and your popcorn. <laughs> Hope96 said, what's the most important thing you learned when becoming friends with Abby? To enjoy the little things more often. The little things make Abby so happy and now in my daily life I look at the little things because of her. Oh, that's like my answer too. That's so sweet. That's sweet. Good movie. Good movie. Everybody enjoy it? It was. Yeah. Summer, I got another question for you. Okay. This one's from Pots, Pins, and Priscilla. It's not good, is it? No, it's not good. It's yeah, nasty. This water. water's not what good. What is it? Dasani it's sparkling water? Sparkling berry. Yeah. Uh, so this one's from Pots, Pins, and Priscilla. Other than Abby, who's your favorite family member? Ooh! I can't answer that. Oh! Abby twice. That's a good one. <laughs> it's other than Abby. Who's your favorite family member? Maverick. Uh, Maverick! <laughs> Guys, you can't make me choose. Such a cop out. <laughs> Come on, Come the world on, wants to know, know Summer. Oh. No, but seriously, Summer. Summer, it's okay. I know it's me. <laughs> they yeah. know it's me too. Yeah, it's so Yeah, it is. <laughs> I talk to her so much more than I talk to you. Yeah. So lots of people have asked, what do you go to college for? What's your what are you majoring in? What do you plan to do as a job? That kind of thing. I am getting my bachelor's in psychology and I want to become an ABA therapist so I will have to go back to school for my master's and maybe even a PhD who knows but I don't know where that's gonna be it that's a lot of college a lot of college <laughs> Laszlo Lind said what's your biggest wish for Abby yeah I guess she'd be happy and content you know like I know she doesn't worry about a lot of things but like to be happy and content doing her own thing. Kind of. Does that make sense? Yeah. That, from that. Happiness. Yeah. I think that's like what we all wish for, right? Yeah. Same thing for Abby. Okay, I'm not waiting for mail time. We just went to, went to the post office. I'm not waiting for mail time for this one because I got something from a friend from David Wiesner. I'm super excited. Oh, it is what I thought it was okay. going to be. <laughs> That's it's, some really good packing, David. That's some super good packing. It's well protected. 
this says coffee with David, and if, if I if I'm correct, this mug changes colors. Yeah, when you put coffee in it, it changes. It gets lighter, right? David, so, coffee mine? with David. <laughs> Thanks, David. That's awesome. Love it. Awesome. We'll call each other on the portal and have a coffee date. Aw, so cute. Emily said, do you still plan on working with SFA next summer? And there's been a lot of questions about SFA, so like, maybe you could like tell us about it, so like how you started with SFA, how you found it, okay. what your plans are for the future with SFA. It's so cute, I love it. I started SFA when I, I think I was 11. It was like a required volunteer event for the surf shop that my dad and sister surfed for. So I went with them and fell in love with it. I've gone ever since. And then my plans, um, if I'm here in Florida when they're happening, then I'm gonna go to every single one. Bluey Max said, what's the most proudest moment you had with Abby? My most proudest, should I wait? Yeah, let's wait. <laughs> the proudest moment probably was at the last SFA that we had when, she, when her and I stood up together. Like, I got her to stand up because when I told her to stand up and start pulling on her jacket, I didn't expect her to actually listen to me. And then she started standing up, and I was like, oh my god, okay, we're doing it. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so in your vast 20 years, GV George wants to know any life lessons you'd like to share. Oh boy, life lessons? Go out of your comfort zone more. Because I did that recently moving to New York City. That's not something that I pictured myself doing, but I just did it and I love it. So. I remember when Summer <laughs> talked about going to New York. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. She'll never do it. <laughs> like, I remember her talking about it initially and I'm like, Okay, we're not even gonna like ask her questions about it because Aww. she'll never do it. And then she did it. Like, <laughs> she's like, I'll show you. She's like, she really did it. I know. I was like, oh no. Okay, so Isaiah has a question for Summer. Do I look at Summer? I feel like I should look at Summer. Sure. Summer. <laughs> what is one thing that's not like not like the people or anything like that, but like that you don't have in New York that you miss? Uh oh. My car. I miss my car. Not because I hate public transportation, it's not that bad, but like, a car was like another bag. Now I have to hold everything on me. Like, I could just stick everything in my car before and it'd be there. And now I have to hold it. So that's cool. I miss my car. So you need a bigger bag for yeah. a car. Yeah. Bags are cheaper. <laughs> exactly. Summer, thank you for as answering questions. You're welcome. I'm sure, I'm sure you've answered the world's questions now. Everybody is well informed of summer and stuff. Oh, one of them was, what's your favorite season? <laughs> summer. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have, we have also have another video that talks about like specifics. Like we how have like a, and, do we? Yeah. We have a playlist, the summer playlist. Mm -hmm. Who is summer playlist, remember? We do. Yeah. Remember I'll the, post a link for that right up here so you guys can check that out. Isaiah and I are going to get our hair cut at a barber. Terrifying. Place we've never been before. Isaiah's super scared. Yeah. I'm not. I don't because I wear hats. So I don't like new people cutting my hair. It's understandable. But it's a barber. I think they'll yeah, do fine. I'm not be great. Good at describing what I want. Can I get a hot hot shave? Hot towel sh what is that? I don't know what it's called. Hot towel rub. And then we're gonna take Abigail out to dinner. I know you guys haven't seen her today, but she's been busy. She had respite, she has, has therapy right now. But we're gonna go get her from the house and take her to dinner. We're going to Mexican because Abby loves Mexican. She's gonna be so excited. And we have to finish getting her Christmas stuff packed up. Ugh. Get her house back in order. Yes. Woo! And I just booked a special thing for ice for Abby, Summer, and Becca to do tomorrow. Oh, fun. Yeah. Maybe so, we'll get summer to summer, vlog it. Summer, are you it. vlogging it tomorrow? Sure. Okay. <laughs> right. Isaiah is so nervous. <laughs> Why are you so nervous? I, this is not my place. You own hats? I do. You never know, dude. You're going to get get that tape up? Um, no. It's going to be looking <laughs> fresh. He's gonna, Isaiah he's just got him a girlfriend, so now he's nervous about this. I don't know. I don't like think she's going to dump you over your haircut. It's dude. been like two years since I've found a girl that actually likes me. Okay, I'm trying to make sure everything's perfect. Oh my gosh. Isaiah's losing his mind. He saw how short my hair was, and he's freaking out. He said he almost walked out. Yeah. He's just like, I'm not getting my hair cut today. It's short. He actually used a razor. Like a real barber. Yeah. And a hot towel. 
It was cool. Okay, what do you think? I like it. It's good, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's yours? Freaking out for nothing, huh? Uh, yeah, I was a little nervous. A I... little. A little. You were losing you were... your mind. Yeah. Shut up, Summer. <laughs> Hi. Are you looking to see who's here? <laughs> just I us. I love how you just like poke your head around the corner. Summer, did you get your gifts from people's? I did get my gifts. I got a magnetic ribbon. And I got body sprays from Victoria's Secret. And I got an awesome bag. <laughs> <laughs> I got an awesome bag from Anakin. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Super sweet. I like that bag. Right? It's got a little handle. There you go. Another bag to put your stuff in too, since you don't have a car. Since I don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got all our kids back here. Yeah. Abby, are you ready to go to Mexican? Fresh cuts. Hello. I, Isaiah's not a huge Mexican mm. fan. Not He's at all. He's more of a Mexican. Mm. <laughs> Good one. Fresh cuts, fresh jokes all day. <laughs> Oh, she's so excited. Are you excited? You got all smiley when you figured out where we were going. Can you close your door? Thank you. <laughs> she's giggling. Look, Isaiah, I know you're not a big fan of Mexican food, but look how happy Abby is. She's so excited. She's so stoked. You didn't jump in this summer. <laughs> Come on, Goo. You just can't contain it, can you? I'm so happy. Loves Mexican food. And good music. It's a dancing restaurant, okay? Dancing restaurant. Do you see our food? Is it coming? She's looking. You're looking for it? Is it here yet? This is not how people patiently wait for food, Abby. <laughs> There's so many vents in here. <laughs> yeah, she likes looking at vents. All these little, like those, she likes looking at vents. It really creeps us out sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abby, sit down. Oh, she's so excited. <laughs> Day two of Priscilla's walking resolution, and how'd it go? It went good. Not good for Abby, though? No, not, not at the beginning. I didn't go with them. She was, uh, she, was a handful. Yeah, I mean, she put her shoes on, and she walked out the door, but then once she realized we weren't going in the car, yeah. she completely lost it. I figured it would get worse before it gets better. She, it'll, it'll, it's going to take a little while to get used to this. Last thing to do before the end of the day is we got to get this out. Uh, recycling picks up tomorrow and that's like they pick up yard waste and stuff so the behemoth tree has to go out the door <laughs> tonight. You guys basically just ended Christmas yeah, all in one fell swoop. <laughs> It's so sad. We don't have to get rid of the poinsettias. Christmas is over. But they're just winter. They're, it's there's basically no... spring. Oh my gosh, it is not. Now, the wreath, do we... You got to pull the picks out. Rest yeah, can we keep the picks? Yeah, you pull all your picks out. The rest of it goes away. Okay. The house is officially unchristmased. There's no more Christmas anywhere. Unchristmased. <coughs> Time for me to go back to... Regular old grumpy self. No Christmas spirit to be had around here. Isaiah, close, close this out with a dope beat. That's a weird way to end the vlog. I can't do that. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. So, Ab, say bye. Say bye. Hi, right, there you go. Bye. 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 Bye.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah.